need a super battery. And where the super battery gonna come from? We think from quantum computers. Quantum computers can model quantum processes. Yeah. Batteries, there's no digitization of a battery. It's a chemical reaction. It's yeah. hit or miss. Quantum batteries, the breakthrough that could end the age of oil. It was really only a matter of time before quantum batteries moved from the realm of theoretical physics into tangible reality. That moment has now arrived, and its impact could prove to be one of the greatest technological disruptions of the 21st century. In combination with quantum computing and artificial intelligence, the quantum battery promises not only to revolutionize how we store and use energy but also to destabilize the industries, economies, and geopolitical structures that have been powered by fossil fuels for more than a century. At the center of this seismic shift is an unlikely setting, a modest industrial park outside Vancouver, British Columbia. There, a small Canadian startup has taken an idea once considered a scientific fantasy and transformed it into a working prototype that could soon change the world. From theory to reality, the concept of a quantum battery is simple in description but extraordinary in practice. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, which store energy chemically, quantum batteries use the strange properties of quantum mechanics to store and release energy almost instantaneously. The result is astonishing. Charging that takes seconds instead of hours, energy storage with minimal degradation over time, and virtually limitless recharge cycles. Imagine an electric vehicle that can be fully charged in under a minute. Picture solar panels that capture the sun's energy during the day and release it through the night without efficiency losses. Envision compact, durable energy storage systems capable of stabilizing entire city grids. For decades, the Achilles heel of renewable energy has been storage, the inability to capture intermittent power from the sun and wind at scale. With quantum batteries, those barriers begin to crumble. Aeon Energy, the startup at the core. The company spearheading this breakthrough is Aeon Energy, founded by a tight-knit team of physicists and engineers once affiliated with the University of British Columbia. Initially funded through modest Canadian innovation grants, Aeon Energy lacked deep capital reserves but made up for it with ingenuity. In recent months, the company completed a series of demonstration tests using early-stage quantum battery prototypes to power electric vehicles and grid systems. The results, by all accounts, were nothing short of astonishing. Vehicles charged nearly instantaneously, while grid systems ran with unmatched efficiency. The dream of a super battery, long dismissed as science fiction, suddenly had a working proof of concept. As one of the company's founders explained, conventional batteries rely on trial and error chemistry, years of lab experiments, luck, and incremental discoveries. Quantum computers, by contrast, can model complex quantum processes directly. This means new battery designs can be simulated and tested virtually, accelerating discoveries that once would have taken decades. Shockwaves through the oil industry. Unsurprisingly, the rise of Aeon Energy has rattled powerful interests. Leaked internal emails reveal executives at several major oil companies holding emergency meetings to assess the threat. In one memo dated June 2025, a senior vice president at a U.S. oil conglomerate wrote bluntly, If this tech scales, we're not looking at gradual disruption. We're looking at a terminal event for oil. Another email, this time from an OPEC policy advisor, was equally stark. The end of our leverage is in sight. Markets have already begun to react. In August 2025, energy sector stocks dipped unexpectedly while green technology indexes surged by nearly 20%. Analysts soon connected the dots. Aeon Energy had quietly secured patents on its quantum battery design and entered negotiations with automakers and utility companies. The secret was out, and investors were moving fast. Governments take notice. Governments are also scrambling to position themselves. Canada's federal innovation minister called the discovery, the most consequential clean energy development in our country's history, and pledged to protect the intellectual property from foreign acquisition. The US Department of Energy has already initiated talks with Aon, while the European Union is considering subsidies to accelerate quantum battery research across its member states. The geopolitical stakes are enormous. Nations like Saudi Arabia and Russia, whose economies rely heavily on oil exports, now face the prospect of their core industry collapsing faster than anyone predicted. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan, 
designed to diversify the kingdom's economy, suddenly looks insufficiently urgent. Russia, meanwhile, has reportedly ramped up cyber espionage targeting clean technology firms in North America and Europe. Everyday Implications For the average person, however, the most profound change lies closer to home. Quantum batteries could make energy independence a reality not only for nations but also for individuals. Homeowners could store solar or wind energy for day and night use without reliance on centralized utilities. Remote communities, long underserved by energy infrastructure, could leapfrog directly into self-sufficiency. Developing countries might bypass fossil fuels altogether, much as mobile phones allowed them to skip landline infrastructure. A viral video showing a prototype quantum battery charging an electric car in under a minute has already captured public imagination, racking up millions of views on social media. Environmentalists see in this invention the long-awaited breakthrough needed to achieve and surpass global climate goals. Suddenly, the Paris Agreement's ambitious target of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius seems far more attainable. Disruption and resistance. But revolutions rarely come without pain. Fossil fuel industries support millions of jobs worldwide, from oil rig workers and refinery engineers to gas station attendants and pipeline operators. Entire regional economies, Alberta's tar sands, Texas oil fields, and offshore drilling hubs, could face obsolescence within a generation. Labor unions and climate transition advocates are already calling for sweeping action, retraining programs, public investment in green infrastructure, and job guarantees in the clean energy sector. Some countries, such as Germany and Denmark, are leading this charge. Others, still tightly bound to fossil fuel lobbying, are resisting. Meanwhile, Aeon Energy itself has tried to remain cautious. CEO Dr. Leela Khoury recently stated, We understand the magnitude of what we've built. Our mission is to ensure this technology benefits humanity, not just shareholders. That means transparency, sustainability, and fairness must guide our path forward. Still, the threats are mounting. Cybersecurity experts have traced attempted data breaches at Aeon back to foreign state actors. Rumors swirl of surveillance drones spotted near testing facilities. Private equity groups tied to fossil fuel interests have reportedly made back-channel attempts to acquire the company. A world on the edge of transformation. The next 12 to 24 months will be critical. Will governments embrace this disruptive change or bow to fossil fuel lobbies? Will new economic models help fossil fuel-dependent regions transition, or will inequality deepen between green tech leaders and laggards? What seems certain is that the age of oil, long protected by geopolitics, entrenched infrastructure, and the lack of alternatives, now faces its most formidable challenger yet. And it all began in a humble Canadian lab, where the mysteries of the quantum realm were finally harnessed, not just to compute faster, but to power the future. Thank you so much for joining us today.